Hello music producers and welcome to this exciting video. Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record vocals in FL Studio. To record vocals in FL Studio, basically all you need is a microphone. Um, it can be a USB microphone or an XLR microphone which um, will require a an audio interface which you can connect to USB to your PC or to your desktop or to your Mac or whatever you're using. Alright, so I'm actually using a USB microphone for this. Alright, so to set up the um, to set up the particular microphone you're using, okay, you go to options. All right, and you go to audio settings. This is the first thing you need to do to record. All right, and what you need to do is you actually need to select your device. Now, if you're using an audio interface, you probably see the you see the um, audio interface right here, whatever audio interface you're using, or you can actually go ahead and select ASIO for all or FL Studio ASIO because over here you can also still go into the settings and still go ahead and select whatever microphone you are using all right and it's always a good idea to leave it at the buffer length the lowest um so that the latency becomes um smaller that is the difference between your input and what you hear it becomes slimmer all right so once you do that once you've selected the uh, microphone you're using or the audio interface you're using all right the next step is to go over to your mixer track all right and then you go into uh you select just any track any insert you want and you can go over here and you're using an audio interface okay depending on which input you put it whether it's input one or input two that is what um you have to select right here all right so for me i'm just gonna select input one because that is where the input is all right so if i'm to select it now you will hear the feedback all right so you can see it says the audio i'm saying now it's um you can see it right here so i'm gonna actually click this right here okay so what this does that is just um i routed it from the master track so the input is still there but it is i can't hear the feedback okay i don't want to hear the feedback um if you want to hear the feedback or if that is something you want um some people like when they um when they are rapping or when they're singing they like to hear themselves okay I, if there's something you want, you can always go ahead and leave that on. All right, so to actually start the recording, once you have um, connected your mic and everything, you simply just click on this um, record button right here and it brings up this um, series of options for you. Okay, you can see you can record um, audio into Edison um, or you can record into Edison, you can record into playlists as an audio clip. You can record notes and automations. All right, you can record everything and you can go ahead and request for more help or whatsoever all right so we're going to record into the playlist as an audio clip you can also do this with edison okay but um um play recording into the playlist is just a kind of simpler way to go about this so once i click on this you can see we have that count that count that came in before the recording starts and that is this um icon right here okay all right because you can see this has countdown before it starts all right so that is that so once i press space on the once i press the space bar you can see it stops um it stops recording okay so let's just see what we have right here you can see we have that count that count that came in before the recording starts all right so you can see that that is just that and that is simply how you can record in FL Studio. If you want to probably record um in loops, like if you want the recording to loop and continue recording, and what you need to do is you need to click on this um loop recording right here. As you can see, we have this loop recording option right here. And now if we record, okay, record and a little clip, it counts in. Now, once I start recording, you will see it's instead of stopping at some point, it goes back to loop again. And it now they go ahead and now fills the second layer. As you can see, this is a very useful tool. All right. So as you can see, it just goes ahead and loops over and over and over and over again. And as you can see, it also mutes them um, by default. It mutes them. So you have to go ahead and unmute the ones you want to work on and the ones you want to work with all right guys so that'll be it for this video please if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel and also enable notifications so that you get notified when i upload a new video just like this for you guys so we'll meet again guys stay safe and see you in the next one